The recent Nigeria Grassroots Governance Summit Awards in Lagos has highlighted the need for greater attention to local government and the concerns of the people. Convener of the event, who is the Executive Director of Hope for the Masses Foundation, Tomisin Adebukola Badewale, noted that 20 award categories showcased what is possible. It showcased what is possible when local government uh, have full autonomy. Details in this report. Please join us as we give a grand welcome to Kabiesi. The Nigerian Grassroots Governance Summit in Awards is an annual event that promotes excellence and innovation in local governance. This year's focus is themed Sustainable Grassroots Governance, the panacea for a resilient democracy and progressive economy. I thank you all for being here, for caring and for being part of the solution. Together, we can build a Nigeria that works, not just for everyone, but from the bottom up. The event's convener, Oluwa Tumi Singh Adebukola Badewale, opened proceedings by emphasizing the critical importance of an effective third tier of government. Then His Royal Majesty, Oba Professor Saka, Matimilola and others speak on navigating the cultural and administrative roles of traditional rulers within modern local government structures, as well as other issues affecting grassroots governance. It's all about the jamboree. We're sure that we will definitely see some changes. And you see, it's good when you do something and it's as, a, and it's as um, open as possible and you're as thorough as possible. I'm, I'm quite glad that the disability community could come here today and single out the two local governments without knowing what we were doing. The two local governments that we had as our first and second were the only two local governments that were mentioned. The key thing is about that those that are in government or in authority must understand that they have accountability, especially if it's when it's democracy. They have accountability to those people who voted them in. And accountability involves then getting the people involved in participating in the, uh, in the administration and activities as well. People need to feel connected. They have to give back to the citizenry. They have to give back to the grassroots. The grassroots, whether the local government chairman like it or not, they will be answerable to them. Because the focus will now be off from the state government but to the local government chairman. And I think it's going to be a good, a, 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 a round peg in the round hole. The local government is the closest to the people, yet in many cases, this crucial tier is neglected, underfunded and under-resourced. Speakers also share on the challenges and the power of community-centered governance. Uh, one, we are the closest to the grassroots and the demand are always on our table. Demand in infrastructure, demand in exec service, demand in empowerment, demand in security, demand in education, demand in empowerment generally. These are the things that we have demands on our table. Three or four months ago, we purchased some equipment for our, all our health center that are worth more than 20 million era. And if you go to all our health center now, we power them with solar and a lot of materials have been given to them. Individuals and local governments are recognized with awards for their excellence in grassroots development initiatives. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.